sometimes some fully adult human will say to me, Hank, why do kids these days find it so easy to fall for misinformation? I have two things to say to you. One, have you seen Facebook? Like, it's not the kids. It's not the kids. But, but look, I'm willing to leave some space here. Now, leaving aside, you called out young people specifically, and they are not the majority of the problem. I will continue to say, yes, this is a problem for young people in as much as it is a problem for people. You know why it's a problem for people? Because the world's confusing and it's messed up and it's weird and not a lot of it makes sense. Like I'm sitting here on this app and I'm like telling kids that their like heads go through time differently than their feet because of relativity and that's true. Like they believe that because it's true. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. You think things make sense? And then when something makes a little bit of sense, when it's actually designed by manipulative people to manipulate people into believing a thing that's not true, you're like, oh, I can't believe they believed it. That thing that was designed to be believable. It's hard out here. It's hard out here. It's hard for all of us. We're all doing our best. and We could all do a hell of a lot better. So pretty much anything in life has its pros and its cons, its ups and its downs. We all know that through experience and pretty much every invention that's advanced society forward is a double-edged sword in some type of similar way. And the internet, living in the, act, the age of free, limitless access to information is no different. You know, on the one hand, many of the everyday life skills that people learn today can be found online. In fact, a lot of my formal etiquette came from YouTube. I learned how to tie a tie and just how to do a lot of things with my formal wear from YouTube. And, you know, a lot of people's skill sets can be learned online so that they can enter new career paths and ways that we never had access to before. But at the same time, there's also limitless access to information that isn't serious or shouldn't be taken seriously or is just flat out incorrect or made to mislead or that should only be taken for comedic purposes or satire. But oftentimes, you know, people don't necessarily have the skill sets uh, to navigate through this information, which is one of the bigger issues that we uh, have as a nation is living in a society that's been transformed with this access to free information, but that not really being part of our primary education on how to properly and successfully navigate through this minefield of information. But we also know that algorithms can pull people into rabbit holes of nonsense if that's what they're initially looking for. And that, you know, goes on Google, anything with YouTube, pretty much anything that has to do with anything that you search. I mean, you see that with YouTube, maybe you're into cooking and you all of a sudden find some type of barbecue recipe. The next thing you know, it's just barbecue this, barbecue that. You know, and it can be useful, but at the same time, if you accidentally get pulled down into some type of rabbit hole where you're looking at a bunch of content that's, you know, about like the great replacement theory and maybe you're susceptible to that, then the next thing you know, that's all you're seeing. And we see the tragic and results that that can lead to. And that's uh, in large part due to the algorithms just pulling people down these rabbit holes because they're just, you know, following information that they're looking for, but not necessarily information that they need to be seeing. And also too, I mean, outside of just the internet and people being able to, you know, limitlessly search for information. I mean, just like public channels like Fox News, OANN, Newsmax, and, you know, I mean, even like regular platforms, CNN, MSNBC, what have you, you know, people's everyday access to information and just the cultural types of influences that we have all around us can, you know, lead us astray and, you know, make us believe different types of uh, conspiracies or make us think that, you know, a party is for our interests when in fact they're not. And we, you know, so again, it's not just this uh, limitless access to information, but it's everything all around us, you know, which again goes back to our education system. And we talk about that here all the time. But, uh, you know, there's just so much work for Americans to do. However, I think it's good that we have platforms like this so that all of us can come together and continue uh, to get progressives elected and into offices. And we're seeing that happen. So, Let's definitely keep up the fire and keep up the push.